All right, so you two can read. So I'm not going to go through any more. We're going to find out what happens in this book. Today, the girls read the whole book. They were reasonably fluent. And in both of those cases, I know the family well enough that that book will be read tonight. Now, that's not the case for all those children that I know that that might not happen for. Then I would say, right, you need to now go and read to a buddy. Also, having said that, the instructional text does not always go home. So they may choose a book out of their book box that they've already read with a little note for mum or dad saying, try this with me, read this to me, or I'm just learning to read this, can you help me when I get stuck? What I call a reading contract is when I have about a week's worth of activities that relate to one book and the children have control. They have to get it done by the end of the week and they can do it all on the first day if they want to. But they work through the activities and then we check in Monday, Wednesday, Friday and we do a wrap up of the book at the end and then we see what falls out of it. And because there's a glossary, I talk to them about alphabetical order and I've given them a little alphabetical order activity so that they can try and put some words into alphabetical order. So they have to write their own wee story too. I usually try and do something that's quite specific to the story, like a retelling or a sequencing activity, broadly related to what the story was about, something kind of fun, like a word find or a picture. That particular book I've selected for a really big group of children, it's a turquoise book, but I've got children who can read through to gold. They're doing a reading contract and they want to learn a little bit about Samoa for Samoan Language Week. So I've just found a couple of websites that back up some of the stuff that they've read using the iPad. They just hold it over the QR code and it takes them to a website that shows them some examples of Siapu cloths that they can then draw a picture of their own. And then the other one actually asks them to do some more reading so they get to read their book, then go to the website, then read the website and then find some information in that text.